Whoa, look at that. It's producing money out of thin air. I've just got to tell my subscribers about this. In this video, I will discuss three companies involved with renewable energy that you can invest in. They are part of the FTSE 250 index. I have held all three for several years and received good capital growth as well as a stream of passive income. I will also reveal how much I have in each company and all the dividends they have paid me so far. Yes, you really can make money out of thin air. This video is for entertainment purposes only and I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research. The UK renewable energy market is set to grow at almost 10% a year until 2026. Clean energy investing is becoming really popular these days. Our reliance on fossil fuels will eventually come to an end. We will need to find new ways to power all those cool looking electric cars that we will be driving around in. The first company I'm going to look at is the Renewable Infrastructure Group. It has almost 80 investments across solar, offshore and onshore wind, as well as battery storage. It generates 4 terawatt hours of clean renewable power per year, which is enough to power 1.4 million homes and avoid 1.5 million tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions per year. You can see on this map where their assets are located. The vast majority are in the UK and France. Some of the profits this company makes goes into buying up more renewable assets and some will be paid back to shareholders in the form of dividends. I've held this company for about four years. Not only has the share price increased 24% over the last five years, but they also pay a dividend yield of 5.2%. My total holding is now £3,300 and I've received £525 in dividends so far. The next company I own is Greencoat UK Wind, which as you might have guessed specialises only in wind energy and has a competitive advantage in this sector. 70% of its wind farms are onshore and 30% are offshore. It was the very first renewable infrastructure group to list on the London Stock Exchange. It has been particularly active in snapping up new assets to grow the portfolio. I've held them for about four years. The dividend yield is 5.2%. The five-year share price growth is 19%. I hold about £5,500 worth and Greencoat have paid me just over £1,000 in dividends so far. The third company is Bluefield Solar Income Fund. It is almost exclusively involved with solar energy. It generates an attractive dividend of 6.5%. It has over 100 solar assets across the UK, but the shareholders voted last year to allow the company to expand into onshore wind, hydro and storage. So although at the moment they are exclusively into solar power, the future looks very interesting indeed for this company. I've held the shares for about three years and have been slowly adding to them. The dividend yield is very good at 6.5%. The shares have also increased in price by 21% over the last five years. I hold almost £3,500 worth of shares and I've received about £400 in dividends so far. So of the three companies I've mentioned, one specialises in wind, another in solar and one in a bit of both. The performance is very similar, so I'm happy to hold all of them for the long term. So what are the risks of investing in renewable energy? Well firstly, the energy prices can fluctuate. They are high at the moment, but this may not always be the case. Secondly, wind and sunlight can be rather unpredictable and some years are better than others. And thirdly, renewable energy companies benefit from a government subsidy and there is no guarantee that this will continue forever. I don't think the subsidy will be stopped any time soon, but the company still needs a plan for this possibility. Let me know what you think about investing in renewable energy, and perhaps check out this next video if you want to invest in a clean energy ETF.